Well, I'm going to show you guys how the outside furnace of Uncle Dave's work. Now, it's actually, it doesn't heat with the heat, with the fire. It actually heats with the water that you put in it. You fill it up on top like a diesel tank with water. That's the main door. And come over here and you can check the water level. Well, you guys probably couldn't see that go up through. But, uh, the main firebox is actually quite large. Let smoke go out a little bit, yeah? I don't know if you guys see in there. It's pretty nasty. Well, the main firebox in there is fucking huge. I mean, I could get in it and move around. It's quite big. Shit. The fucker ain't burning quite good. Anyways. Well, that's the fire door. It actually has an electric thermostat on it. Well, it doesn't... It can't make... The furnace heat any quicker, but it can. When it drops down about, it's usually at 183, 184. That's the, how hot the water is right now in it. But, uh, when it tells it drops down, it has an electric damper. It automatically opens on the door and uh, starts cooking it. You know, it starts letting the fire burn more. Over here, these are all controlled. This is the sensor for the light, it tells it where it's dark. It actually has its own built in water pump circulator. You put the water in the actual furnace. And this is the electric circulator the furnace runs off. Wow, that's a little fucking hot. And they run out and into the house. Now let's show you where it is in the house. Now it runs into the house because of the circulator. It tells it when it needs to heat it up enough. And the heat, it's fucking snowing like a motherfucker up here if you guys can't tell. The heat from the furnace actually circulates the water through the house. If you guys understand what I'm saying. Oh, I'm fucking locked out. Alright. Welcome to my Uncle Dave's humble abode. Now we gotta go in this room. Hold on one second, I gotta turn the lights on. I'll walk over here and click this. Alright. Now, water lines run in through the wall. This is this is a feed, and this is return. The feed comes up, runs out through, hits the connectors. There's a lot of fucking connectors here. You know, they're all jointed off connectors, the valves. Well, they run throughout the house, like this one runs over the laundry room and the return. <laughs> Them two run up into the main house. <coughs> and they actually come out in the other part. They heat this all these ducts that you see down this whole fucking place. It's a big basement. It's heated by this furnace. By the furnace. And it's all water. It's all heated with water. It keeps this house about ninety five all year long. I mean, a lot of ducking in here. Well, on the return line, we found a way to rig up an electric heater. That does not run off the electricity, but yet we have it fed in with pipes off the return line of the furnace. That's really fucking neat. And then the return line comes back through, back into this room. Comes back from that, from the heater over there. Back in. Runs right back down, and boom, right back out to the furnace where it's reheated and then brought back in. And the furnace, the furnace goes through quite a bit of wood, but you know it doesn't, it doesn't burn like a fucking quart of wood in a week. But I mean, not you know it's 30 degrees out, nah, it'll burn quite a bit of wood. But when it gets down 10 degrees or so, you gotta fill it every three hours. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, and that'd be it.
That is how the outdoor furnace works. I recommend it to anybody. It's more efficient than any goddamn wood stove I've ever seen. Alright. Well, until next time when I'm plowing, which I'm going to be plowing this yard, out here that I was just in. I don't know if you guys seen it or not. I'm going to be plowing all this shit. And it's going to be on video. Alright. You guys have a good one.